Hey guys, thanks so much for joining me back for another video this week. Today I have a little haul unboxing and um, it's going to be a fountain pen unboxing and some stationary items and um, I hope you can join me for this video. So I have a little like <laughs> candle here burning because it is the evening and it's a Monday and uh, it was quite a busy day today but um, I thought I would come on here and share a little unboxing. Um, so I actually ordered this or pre-ordered this about two months ago and, and then it got delayed so um, I don't know um, it was very on the whim sort of purchase and I don't know if I'm going to regret it but we will see. Um, the reason I say that is because I did pay an arm and a leg for shipping, although it was in the States and because I just wanted to get the tracking. I don't recommend paying an arm and a leg for shipping other than Hobonichi, which makes sense because, you know, it's overseas. But yeah, I totally overdid the shipping on this just to get tracking, which I do regret. And I it was actually caught by... Um, customs so i had to on top of that I had to pay another custom fee which was almost the same price as the shipping um, and then added together it's actually not worth it because it almost equaled the same amount of my um, products that i ordered so all in all this whole um, order was very you know um it was very painful um, especially for shipping so um, because of that, I'm not going to get into where I got this from. Just be careful. Um, you know, I don't want to bash the company because it is my fault. I, I did agree to pay it um, and I wasn't familiar with the speed uh, that was being offered because it's the US. So um, I'm not blaming the company or anything, but I'm not going to name them either. But I will list the items down below um, to my best ability so that if you're interested, you can seek out these items for yourself um, so with that said let's get started so um, I know that this pen was very uh, popular when it came out and it still is it's a pre-order but um, I'm going to start with the smaller items first because I'm gonna want to do like maybe ink it up or something but um, so the first item here is some hours studio um, I don't know if you can see that, but it's some Hours Studio sticker, I think. Yeah, this was a very on the whim purchase, guys. And you know, I usually don't do that. Um, at least I don't think so. But um, I just wanted to get something along with the pen because I don't know, like, I'm, you know, I'm paying for that much shipping. So, but I did buy this like in less than five minutes. Yeah, I had to run somewhere and I didn't want it to get out of stock. So I just did a very hasty order of this and yeah, I ended up paying for too much shipping. And then, so yeah, I'm just not gonna try to think about it, but I'm gonna try to take this sticker off and keep the sticker. Like, I don't even know what this is. I think it's a sticker. I don't know, but oh shoot, it's gonna break. Um what do I do? Okay. The sticker is gonna break. Maybe I'll just fast forward this. Okay guys, I have it open and just keep that there. So this is the hour studio. I don't know, seal, I guess to call it. And um, it's just a uh, ampersand. Okay, so it's not a sticker. I don't know what this is. It's not a sticker, or is it? No. So it's basically just um, a die cut, if you can see that. So it's just a die cut and look kind of made out of cardboard so um yeah so i guess something like this can just like go into your your journal uh, i thought it was cute so i ended up getting that and then this one is oh sorry 
should check if there's other designs. Nope, they're all the same, okay. So uh, for this one, I thought it was cute because it's made out of like, it's the Burns Mr. Eggplants. They have an Instagram, Mr. Eggplants on Instagram. And this one is cool because it's actually designed that's printed on vellum and it, it has like maybe two, three designs. Um, and I hope you can see this. Um, I know my lighting is a little off because, well, it's nighttime now. Um, but see if you can see that. This one says, give me some money and I can build a house. Have some pets with you. It's pretty cute. And then the next design is... Um, this one where it says coffee or something like that. Um, yeah, and I just thought it would go nice because I'm planning to do more collages with photos and stuff and um, I was planning to get the MD one day per page diary for next year and I know that they have the calendar starting December this year so I might get it and start in December but um, yeah, I wanted to get into that whole collage thing. Um, it's so elegant. It's so simplistic. I think that's a beautiful uh, journal for that. So that's why I got this vellum. I thought it would be nice to do layering. Um, so just hope you can see that. Sorry for the lighting, guys. Um, yeah, so that's that. And um, the last thing, well not last thing, but this, I saw this and I'm like, you know what, um, why not? So I guess I'll open this up. Um, if you don't know um, what this is, well, you should because it's um, a stationary podcast and I've been just listening to it for, um, I guess almost has it been a year i think it's been a year i think i've i don't know but um i just uh you know want oh it's is it a little bent it's a little bent or is that just the design okay i don't know it's just the design maybe um but yeah i just thought this was cute um so yeah it's a stationary cafe um it's great so just listen to it um let's see so i have that so i yeah this is just um coaster um and then now let's get into this this is the happy mt i guess that's the name of it and so um this is the what's it called the I don't even know. I think it's called the Va Lily of the Valley um, <laughs> fountain pen. Okay, so I don't know what this is. Okay, it's just a black ink cartridge. This is just the piston. Um, and that's the pen. They have two versions. They have like the fountain pen version. And then they have a pen version, like a gel pen, I think. And I think it takes Sarasa um, ink. But this one, I just got the, um, the fountain pen version of this. Uh, let's put this back here. Yeah, so um, it's really nice, actually. Like maybe I should just like do a zoom in so you can see it better. So, um, oh shoot, it's dark there. Okay. Um, yeah, it's hard to film, but okay. So, um, okay, that's better. So this is very matte metal. If you can see that with some nice gold detailing all over it. Uh, I don't know what that is. It's like some stars. And that's the navy blue. If you can tell, it's navy blue. It's dark navy. Um, the inside is uh, just a silver nib. And I know that was bugging a few people just because it doesn't um, match. 
the medals, um, the gold medals, but I feel like I'm okay with um, mixing up my medals. Like, I'm okay with it. Um, and right away, the grip is a little awkward to hold. Uh, it's not as comfortable because there's this indent right here. Um, and it kind of gets in the way of my resting finger when I'm writing. So right away, I know it's not going to be the most comfortable pen. Let's see if it caps. Uh, yeah, it caps, but I feel like I'm risking denting or denting the, uh, the paint if I do this a lot, if I do it too hard. So this pen, unfortunately, I, this, I will not be, I will not be capping. Um, so it's a very satisfying click when you close it. Um, but unfortunately, it's not going to be a good one to cap all the time. Yeah, it's definitely not going to be capped. That's unfortunate because I like capping my pens. <laughs> um, yeah, so I don't know uh, what I'm going to be uh, inking this up with, but I will ink it up with something. So I'm gonna I choose to ink it up with um, Ferris Wheel Press uh, Writing Desk. This is the collaboration ink with Wonder Pens, and I'm going to do that now. Okay, so let's test this out. Hopefully, it's ready. It is down 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 oh i got this in the fine i believe it's very stiff nib and this is i don't even know what the name of this pen is um it's very smooth is it is uh fine nib so yeah i think that's a very smooth pen i think it's good so I, I like it, um, obviously for the enamel, so um, writing experience is, um, it's not superior, but it's decent. So, um, and yeah, and that is what I think, um, and that's pretty much it guys. Thank you so much for watching, and um, thank you for joining me in this unboxing video and I will see you guys next time.